Gentlemen, ladies, and non-binary daisies, welcome to this wonderful show we have here this evening. On behalf of Humming Jay, I'm Hannah Yoon, your host for tonight. For your information, the bathrooms are somewhere in your vicinity and refreshments are in your refrigerator. If at any point during the show you need to use the restroom, get a snack, or carry out any other shenanigans, please make sure to turn off your camera so as not to distract from the performance. Today's concert is not only about celebrating the music we have created this past year, but also about the amazing seniors and alumni members who have fostered Humming Jay's growth throughout their time here at Hopkins. I'll be popping in throughout the event to tell you more about all the awesome sauce stuff they've accomplished. Now, I welcome our special guest, Eugene Kim, to start off our show. Hello, everyone. My name is Yujin Kim, and I would firstly like to thank Humming Jay, Johns Hopkins' premier Korean interest a cappella group, for inviting me to host this evening of stunning music and riveting tales. So please sit back and relax while I recount my story, a somewhat Humming Jay legend at this point, set on our very own Homewood campus, to all the Blue Jays I've loved before. My story actually begins with the end of a relationship. Kevin Park and Jennifer Lee have been the talk of KSA and CASA since they started dating in freshman year. The argument? Nothing new to be frank. No matter how many times they break up, they always manage to find a way back into each other's arms. Why are you doing this? What is it this time? This time? This time? Can you say that like I'm the one who keeps messing up? Wait, when have I ever- wait, Jen, hold up. Is this about Audrey? Maybe it is. You know what? Forget Albert. Forget you too. Do 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 Baby, 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 why'd you wanna wanna hurt me so? 
you get halfway through college, possibly in the middle of summer break, when a dump truck load of nostalgia hits you like a brick? Yeah, that was me. So I proceeded to do the stupidest thing ever, write letters to all my previous crushes as a somewhat grounding activity. Nothing would come out of it, I wasn't going to send them out, just keep them in a box under my bed. No harm, no foul. Dear Peter Yang, I honestly don't even remember when I first met you. I just knew you who you were, my shy next door neighbor. I mean, you weren't particularly remarkable, but the more I got to know you, the more I started to like you. Your somber, calamitous eyes never failed to brighten my day. And I just wanted to say, I had really liked you before. So here's my poem for you.
Dear Andrew M, I first met you at summer camp as many as summer camp flings begin. It was at the welcoming campfire when you were leading an activity as one of the camp counselors. I still remember your swept back hair, curls lusciously blooming like cherry blossoms on a spring day. You even had on olive green skinny jeans that perfectly matched the camp lanyard. All the girls thought you were so cool and not like boys our age. It was almost like you were a celebrity. Sadly, the fling part of a summer fling didn't happen, but I still think about you sometimes. Love XX, Eugene Kim. What? Is this a joke? Who even is Eugene? interrupt the program to share that last piece was sung by Brandon Park, one of our three newly graduated seniors in Hamingjae. Brandon joined us in fall 2018 and has served as our concert director and president. His leadership and determination has been essential in navigating us through this tumultuous past year. The following piece will be soloed by Erica Choi. Erica joined us in spring 2020, and although she's only been with us for the past one and a half years, her kindness and positive energy has been a welcoming presence for our younger members. Our final senior send-off will be soloed by Ellie Kim, who joined us in fall 2017. 
In addition to serving as our assistant music director and music director, Ellie is the co-founder of the Inter Acapella Council. She has been a rock throughout her four years in Hamingje, and her passion has pushed us to achieve higher musical standards. Congratulations to all three of you for graduating, and we can't wait to see where you will be heading next. We now return to the scheduled programs, folks. Dear Kevin Park, I first met you in the line at FFC when your J-card didn't work. You probably don't remember, but I let you swipe mine instead. The pale blue tennis jersey stretched across your muscly back was a tastier snack than the chicken tendies served at late night. But as soon as you got your food, you sat down next to Jennifer, and a few weeks later, I saw the Facebook status update that you two were dating. It's okay though. It helped me keep my mind focused on my studies and become the best pre-med student at practice. Love, XX, teaching hmm. Why can't I find my damn letters? Did my roommate, did she really send them out or something? I mean, yeah, I did drink her oat milk last week and she's lactose intolerant, but I just wanted some milk. Hey, this is Kevin. Uh, Eugene Kim, right? I think I got a letter from you. Crap, she really did send out the letters. What do I do? He probably thinks I'm so weird. No, he definitely thinks I'm weird. Wait, what's what's happening? I I do, 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 do. Thing for you to do Your hand Is moving right now You are still showing up At the tomb of every Lazarus Your voice Is calling me out Right now I know you're able My God Come through again Never lost a 
Please do not tell anybody about that letter. Like, I didn't even send them out, but all of my crush, I mean, random people got them, and I didn't even send them out. Hmm. Let's make a deal. A what? You need a boyfriend. I do? Yeah, just think about it. All those guys that you sent letters to? Well, I mean, if you say that you have a boyfriend, then you can just say it was all a prank. And, and you need to make your ex jealous, just like how she's trying to make you jealous. Oh, do you know that Jennifer is trying to make me jealous? Um, reasons? I checked their Facebook profiles, cross-referenced their Instagram stories, and corroborated with various members of KSA and CASA. Okay, well, anyway, it's not like we're gonna actually fall in love or anything. It'll only be for a few weeks while you deal with this letter problem, and I made Jennifer regret breaking up with me. No falling in love, huh? That was fine with me. As long as the humiliating situation ended ASAP. Deal. Cool beans, not girlfriend. See you at Lover. <laughs>
selfies with Instagram filters and just went to parties and drank, but... So. Well, what I've gathered from my K-dramas, I've seen couples usually just feeding each other or sharing drinks. Sharing so. drinks. Okay. I'll go get some passion fruit tea for us then. Oh, she's coming by. Quick, drink, drink, drink. Make me jealous? <laughs> he is, isn't he? 
Well, if he's trying to make me jealous, I have no choice but to ruin his life. Still got some boxes left over at his apartment. Maybe I'll just head over when he's there. And maybe one of those boxes is going to be too heavy for me to carry. He'll have no choice but to help me out. And as he bends down, muscles glistening in the dim apartment night, I'll take a picture, post it on my story, caption it with a bunch of little hearts. Pictures can be harmless. It's the ideas that they plant that can be dangerous. Pretty, you know that I'm pretty full of Oh, you get me feeling never felt before I'm making it obvious, but I'm knocking at your door I know that I'm coming tonight, you know I'm coming tonight Don't want to deny it You got lucky cause you're rocking with the best And I'm greedy cause I'm so greedy I ain't talking money, I'm just physically obsessed And I'm greedy cause I'm so greedy You know that I'm greedy for love You know that I'm greedy for love Cause I'm so greedy I don't need a phone call, got nothing to say I'll tell you when it's over, got no games to play You know that I'm coming tonight, I know I'm coming tonight I just need to get this out the way, baby I just feel so happy, so excited, and so warm. All this time I've spent journaling letters to other guys, I didn't realize how cold and lonely I had actually felt. But when I'm with him, when I'm with Kevin, I just, everything's complete. My world just stops spinning, and when he looks at me and I look at him, I just feel so warm. Could this, could this be love? Just too good to be true 
can't take my eyes off you You'd be like heaven to touch I wanna hold you so much At long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off you Pardon the way that I stare There's nothing else to compare The sight of you leaves me weak There are no words left to speak But if you feel like I feel Please let me know that it's real You're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off me Hey folks, it's me again. The previous piece was sung by Yina Yoon, one of our three alumni who graduated during spring 2020. The following two pieces will be alumni send-offs soloed by Jenny Yu and Susan Yu, respectively. All three alumni joined Humming J together in fall 2016 and have contributed greatly to our dynamic and musicality as an a cappella group. We were extremely saddened that we were not able to hold a concert during their final semester with us, so we've included them in our program tonight. Ina served as business manager and helped us strengthen our bonds both in and outside of rehearsal by initiating and coordinating fun get-togethers. Jenny served as assistant music director and music director for three of the four years she was with us. Her chill and smooth voice, along with her perfect pitch, has definitely brought Humming Jay to a higher caliber. Susan served as a business manager, then president of Humming Jay. Her determination and high sense of responsibility always kept Humming Jay on track so that we could hold successful rehearsals and performances. We've missed each of you tons throughout this last year and are excited to include you all today. Now, let's continue on with the story. Whoa. We're what? done. What? what? What do you mean? What are you talking this? about? Jennifer's Instagram story? You're literally in the photo, and there's heart emojis all over it. No, no, Eugene, I, I can explain. No. Wait, come, come back. I don't even know why I'm acting like this. I have too many things on my plate, and I don't have time to actually fall in love. This is not what I signed up for. My 528 MCAT score is at stake, and do I even love Kevin? I mean, my heart does skip a beat when I see him, but... And he's not like the other Kevins. Save me. 
This all or nothing really got a way of driving me crazy. I need somebody to heal, somebody to know, somebody to have, somebody to hold. It's easy to say, but it's never the same. I guess I kind of like the way you numbed all the pain. Now the day bleeds into nightfall, and you're not. Through it all, I let my guard down, and then you pull the rug. I was getting kinda used to being someone you loved. I'm going under in this town. I fear there's no one to turn to. This all or nothing way of loving got me sleeping without you. Somebody to know, somebody to heal, somebody to have just to know how it feels. It's easy to say, but it's never the same. I guess I kind of like the way you help me escape. Now the day bleeds into nightfall, and you're not here to get me through it all. I'll let my guard down and then. Why does this keep happening to me? I put my heart and soul into these relationships, and for what? Heartbreak after heartbreak. I didn't even mean to fall in love with her, and it still happened. Will I ever find love? Will I ever find someone to stay up all night with, study and watch Netflix together? Will someone lay down with me? Eugene won't even listen to me anymore. But maybe she'll read a letter from me. Dear Eugene, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. It's. I was helping Jennifer move some boxes out of my apartment when she took that picture of me on her story. And I don't know why she put so many friggin' hearts on a picture of me just moving some boxes, and it kind of pisses me off that she did that. I'm sorry. I miss you. And I want to be with you. No contract. Yes, I do. I believe that one day I will be where I was, right there, right next to you. And it's hard, and Asia seems so dark. The moon and the stars are nothing without 
feel your touch, your skin Where do I begin? No words can explain the way I'm missing you all tonight The sentiments is all that I inside These tears, they tell their own story Told me not to cry when you were gone But the feeling's overwhelming It's much too seen each other since you know what happened but thanks for the letter you dropped off at my house I didn't realize it was all just a big misunderstanding with Jennifer and all um isn't this bar kind of nice I mean I heard they were playing some Frank Sinatra today um I'm getting a bit off topic at this point but uh, I don't know how else to say it but I just wanted to see you again being apart from you made me realize some things that you make me laugh, make me feel things that nobody else has made me feel before. And I know this wasn't supposed to happen and it wasn't part of the contract, but I guess what I'm trying to say is that I really like you, Kevin Park. Fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars. 
Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, in other words hold, my hand. hold my hand. In other words, darling, kiss me. Fill my heart with song. Let me sing forevermore. You are all I long for. All I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. out of my hopelessly romantic highs and lows. Before we proceed, I would like to pass it back to our host, Hannah, for a few thank yous to everyone who helped make this happen. Thank you, Eugen. This program would not have been possible without the following people. Liquid Fit Productions and Jeremy Ernest for mixing and producing many of our recordings. The Interacapella Council and Nicolene Wilson, Director of Homewood Arts Program, for helping us navigate these past virtual semesters. The Johns Hopkins University Alumni Association and the Student Philanthropy Association for making it financially possible to produce more tracks than was initially anticipated. Hamiji's 2020 to 2021 Executive Board, Brandon Park, Ellie Kim, Serena Chan, Karen Cardawira, Georgie DeSanson, Sarah Lee, and Jian Hong. This live streams planning committee, Brandon Park, Ellie Kim, Serena Chan, Jordi DeSanson, and Katie Zhang. Thank you all so much for helping us produce this concert. We would also like to give a shout out to our newbies, the newbies of spring 2020, Jian Huang, Ted Lee, Erica Choi, the newbies of fall 2020, Katie Zhang, and Hannah Yoon. And last but not the least, our spring 2020 newbie, Stephanie O. Oh. Thank you all so much for gra gracing us with your voices, musicality, and determination despite the virtual experience. Finally, thank you to you, audience, for joining our show. We are so glad to have had you all here today. Now buckle up and try not to space out for our last performance of the evening, because it's going to be out of this world. <laughs> Dum 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 d
I'm gonna go to the house. 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 I